Sure, I'll park it in here, man. Yeah, I won't drive it. <laughs> Woo! Uh oh. Guess what comes back to the channel today, guys? What do you say? Hey, what's up, man? There she is. All right, boys, let's see what she sounds like. Good cold start. Nothing like a Shelby. say this is like clean 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 build I mean almost perfect we went ahead and uh, pre-wired you guys a couple of spots for fuse at the relays and then down here we got a connector connector down there that has open spots in it and so you got your pins your relays and your fuses and whatnot to work you guys can wire perfect. it it'll be just like factory it'll be sealed up with every package we build we provide an owner's manual with the build so it goes over everything you need to know about the car, uh, what serial number it was, when it was built, uh, a little welcome to the team, sample of contents, and it goes through everything, you know, everything your car has, if you ever get after to show you know, what all done to it, you can you know, specifically tell them every last uh, detail. Dino chart and warranty information. It's good. It hit 800. Just know that. It hit 800. Being a road race car, you can make more horsepower with these uh, blowers, but you don't want to turn it, you know, put them on the ragged edge and then go try to go around a road course for a half hour, you know. So this, this setup, you know, they could make closer to, you know, 840, 850 if you're leaning on a little bit harder, but there's just no sense in pushing a stock motor that hard, especially for road, road, road course stuff. If you're doing more drag racing, you know, maybe, but like it's, right. it's set up for this thing, well, you'll be able to beat on it for time after time and just have a blast. We are ready to go to the Dragon. Your car's here, dude. Dude, I'm, uh, I know what I'm doing. I'm can you, you imagine what it looks like? I mean, this thing looks good. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. That's awesome. What are you I doing? I was there. I've just been waiting like three months to see it. And I'm packing to go spend two days with my wife's family in Alabama. So that's awesome. I'm glad you got to see it. Listen, do not drive that car. Why not, man? I'm waiting. I'll wander out first. Okay. Promise. Sure, I'll park it in here, man. We'll I'll throw it in here in the garage. We'll keep it nice and warm for you and uh, you can drive it when you get back. Alright, man. All right, man. Yeah. See ya. Now guys, do you really believe that I'm not gonna drive this 800 horsepower GT350? Let's go for a ride. Yeah, I won't drive it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. She needs tires bad. Don't take much to step out. crank up that gt350 and give it its first drive guys it's like six seven eight degrees out here today it's as cold as it gets in tennessee it did snow a little bit last night and the wind was about to blow the house down but i'm gonna jump in race truck here see how she acts on some cold pavement driving the wolf never gets old guys i don't care if it is six degrees and i'm on drag tires that got flat spots in them from setting out we are going to get this thing tuned up a little bit race the gt350 race the reaper hawk you know the new jeep grand cherokee and then we're going to lift this bad boy up i'm about to build a house and go through that whole process and i can't think of anything better than like a thousand horsepower work truck i will be the fastest guy in the lowe's and home depot parking lots <laughs> whoa they don't like this cold pavement today oh brad's here 
Hey man, you ready to drive this thing? <laughs> yeah. Are you cold? I'm freezing, man. We picked a bad day. Brought D man with me. Cool. He's gonna ride with us. What is all this? Man, <laughs> that, you said you wanted all the parts that were left over from the build, so they brought it all to us. Uh, got a lot of junk sitting around now. <laughs> Wow, the springs, she's lowered. I don't think we've talked about a lot of this. I'm pumped about this one, guys. You ain't gonna believe how fast it is, dude. How did, what did I mean, you know, it, I just pulled it in here, but it sounds fast, you, you know. You didn't drive it. No, man, no. Okay. As I've been, I mean, this thing, okay, so what happened was, we were supposed to do all our visual mods and then send this up to Fat House Fabrication like in late January, early February, but, they had some time and were able to slide it in there, which is good because we ordered all these visual parts, you know, spoiler, wheels, all that stuff, and it's taking forever to get in. So we would have just been sitting here with a stock car. Now we've got it all beefed up. Guys, we did a ton of stuff. Axles, I don't know what all you've told them. It's got a carbon fiber drive shaft. I mean, it's got everything done to it. It's ready to go. And all our visual parts are starting to show up now. This thing looks sweet. Come over here. Let me show them something on this. If you guys don't know, if you just watch our channel for GT350, we did buy a Trackhawk, uh, built everything, demon blower, and we slung some belts. They're over there in the floor. Yeah, this uh, is about half as wide as it should be. This is a 10 rib and a six and a four. So, so what happened was a bolt broke off inside the water pump right here that holds a big tensioner. And so when that snapped, it freaking messed up the water pump, like all kinds of stuff slung everywhere. So what we did was we ordered all the parts to fix everything, plus some other upgrade parts. We're gonna be digging into all this and getting it right. But this is about 1200 crank horsepower, 970, 980 at the wheels. So this will be a really good race for the GT350 over there. These tires are old as balls. They're hard as a rock. Of course, it's cold today, but even it's like warmed seven up. out, man. Yeah, but even <laughs> there's no tread on them. They're hard as a rock. This is gonna be stupid. But as soon as we finish driving this thing, we're taking the new wheels to where they have the new tires ready to go, and we're putting some R Triple Eight R's on it. Um, that video will drop like the day after this one. So let's go see what she does on some cold slicks. Two cold starts, one video. We did have a bunch of BMR bushings put in. That's it lowering feels, springs. Yeah, lowering springs. It feels good and tight. Um, as far as ripping this thing, I mean, show them the road, man. I know it's, it's all salty. you people in the north think like this is nothing. It's, it is nothing. But, but it's also it's eight degrees outside right now. It's so. the first time we're driving this thing. Um, so I did notice, and before we get up through this curve, Sam, show them the shifter right here. Uh, this is not gonna work with my new carbon fiber shift knob because the shift sequence is different. Reverse is over and up, and it doesn't have to pull up and go this way like it does on the regular 350, so that's different. Well, let's roll into one right here. Uh, we're doing about 60. Whoa! <laughs> Listen to those pops. I don't know if you can hear them on camera. This is factory exhaust. So we got headers, high flow cats, and then you still have the, the, the factory pipe with resonators. Factory, factory resonators, factory mufflers right now. Yep. You know, of course, it's already hooked us up. We yep. gotta get the Corsa Extreme put on. It's gonna, it's gonna sound be, wicked. It's gonna uh, be loud. We'll probably put those. We got these little this little mod that you could make the valves be open all the time, so that even on a cold start you get the good sound instead of the neutered sound. So we'll probably hook that up. Um, this thing's 
just just trying to warm this transmission up for 20 minutes and we're still not getting very much heat in it it doesn't have a heater it's got a really sophisticated cooler but it doesn't have a heater so it does take a lot of miles and a lot of time to be able to warm it up i don't know that it's going to warm up today at all let's get a little rip here just roll into first race car I guess that I've ever had and we are just getting started this is gonna be a whole lot of fun so I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna head up to discount tire and get our new wheels and uh, our triple eight R's put on uh, that's a video that's coming up we're gonna film it today actually so that's the next one out on this and then we're just gonna throw parts at this like crazy and then race everything we've got and anybody and everybody else that wants to race as well guys thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one dayton hit them with the peace peace <laughs> see y'all